Hello and welcome to Small Cap Nation. I'm Jane King at the NASDAQ market site in Times Square. And with me today is David Hansen, uh, the president and CEO of Mabvax Therapeutics. Thank you, Jane. And also Jeff Cross, senior analyst at Crystal Research. Just give us an overview. What is it that Mabvax does? Mabvax is primarily an antibody discovery company. And what makes us unique is that we've tied our capabilities of discovery of antibodies uh, from a natural uh, immune response of patients to a vaccine program that was started some years ago at Memorial Sloan Kettering Cancer Center. So we have a license with Memorial Sloan Kettering so that any patient who's vaccinated with any of these vaccines against the cancers that they have, we get blood from those patients, we bring it back to our lab in San Diego, and we essentially isolate the cells that produce the antibodies of interest, we clone out that antibody DNA, we recombinantly express it, have enough to be able to examine it, and then that becomes our discovery process whereby we uh, now can uh, uh, discover new antibody therapies. Can you talk a little bit about the news you recently had with Sloan Kettering? Obviously, pancreatic cancer is a devastating disease. You've got 53,000 deaths, I believe, last year, and 42,000 new cases, and obviously getting to it earlier is important. Uh, the only cure for pancreatic cancer today is surgery. And even the best of the new uh, chemotherapy agents are only prolonging life by roughly, on average, three or four months. Yeah. So it's a very difficult area, and there are quite a few people working in this area, but um, no one seems to have the breakthrough that everybody is looking for to really change the paradigm for pancreatic cancer. So uh, we are working with uh, Sloan Kettering in a variety of ways. We actually, even though we're a small company, we have a lot of different relationships with uh, Sloan Kettering. So we have uh, our therapeutic trial, which we launched in February of this year, and uh, Dr. Eileen O'Reilly, who co-heads the pancreatic cancer treatment program at Sloan Kettering, is leading that portion of the trial at MSK. And we have uh, Drs. Wolfgang Weber and Christian Lorman from the Nuclear Medicine Group. Uh, they're our lead investigators on our diagnostic program. We have a, our antibody tied to a radio tracer element, and that now becomes a new generation PET imaging agent for pancreatic cancer. So we're really trying to work at a couple of levels. We're trying to help uh, identify uh, pancreatic cancer, identify its metastatic sites, which has always been a difficult uh, problem, and then provide yet one more treatment uh, for, for the disease. Now talk about the, the trials. Could these be game changers for pancreatic Well, it's cancer? awfully early to be saying that. Um, we've treated about a dozen patients now with the therapeutic uh, agent. These are all stage three, stage four pancreatic cancer patients who have failed all other treatments, so they're pretty desperately ill patients. Um, we've been treating them with our antibody therapy. Um, we're pleased to say that several of those patients have really gone on uh, to four or five or even six months worth of treatment. So we're encouraged by that, but we certainly need to do quite a bit more. On the diagnostic side, uh, we're now just getting the first few of our patients into that trial. Uh, that one we actually got started in late uh, June of this year at MSK. Uh, and we're seeing some remarkably uh, interesting uh, images. Uh, the investigators are uh, quite enthusiastic about it, but again, we have yet some distance to go before we're able to tell you whether we've got a game changer or not. Can you talk a little bit about your use of fully humanized antibodies and the advantages? Because I think there's a lot of misinformation out there. People don't recognize how much of an advantage it is for you to do human. Well, it is uh, an advantage. Uh, and essentially, it's an ideal starting point for you know creating an antibody therapy. So uh, our, our bodies always react very sensitively to things that we put into it. And uh, from a human antibody perspective, uh, whether that antibody came from me or from you and Jane received it, we really all see it as human. Mm -hmm. So it really lowers uh, the possibility of an uh, immunological response. Uh, and that is significantly better than um, some of the other technologies that bring antibodies forward, like chimerization or humanization. Um, that's not to say that those uh, are always going to cause an immune rea reaction, but uh, certainly much less possibility with a human antibody. Um, talk a little bit about the pancreatic cancer market. How big is it? Roughly 50,000 people are 
are getting uh, are diagnosed with pancreatic cancer each year. Unfortunately, uh, the vast majority of them already have metastatic disease, so it's uh, very late in the process. That's one of the reasons why the the mortality rate is so high. Because it's so hard to detect early. It's very hard to detect early. Um, so what we've seen, I'll, I'll use an example of a, of a new agent that's come into the marketplace, Abraxane. Um, the phase three clinical trials demonstrated that the combination of Abraxane and gemcitabine prolonged uh, survival in pancreatic cancer patients by about three to four months. That product this year will probably be close to or past the $1 billion threshold in terms of a, a new product and the vast majority of those sales are in pancreatic cancer. So it's, uh, it's a market that needs new therapies and any uh, time that we see a new therapy come into a marketplace, and in this case the hurdle that you have to get over in terms of efficacy is fairly low, that, that, that prospect is pretty good. I like the differentiated approach you're taking, not only worrying about the target and being able to get to the target early for identification and doing it accurately, but also giving the pharmaceutical companies the ability then to treat and go specifically to that target. Mm -hmm. How are you set up with regard to IP and the other areas you're going to go after, like small cell? Yes. Lung? So um, all of our, uh, our IP defense, if you will, is really based on a couple of layers. So the first layer is we actually have a license for all of the vaccines that were used to treat the patients that generated the blood samples from which we generated our antibodies. Okay, so, so that's one layer of defense. These were all uh, phase one and phase two programs that were run at Sloan Kettering. So very difficult for someone to follow closely in our footsteps. And then once we identify that an antibody is worth pursuing, then we patent that antibody. So we patent the sequence and we patent all the uses surrounding okay. that uh, antibody. Uh, so we think we have a pretty good uh, IP defense. So tell us about uh, your NASDAQ uplisting and then yeah. also a recent round of financing. Yes, so uh, we have been uh, on the OTCQB for the last couple of years with a, with a strong uh, desire to be uplisted to the NASDAQ. Uh, it took a little bit of time to put all the pieces in place and to, and to meet all of the listing criteria that NASDAQ has. But I think uh, we're getting into the clinic now and we're starting to see the first glimmers of some encouraging information and so I think that sort of brought everything together at the same time. So we were able to do our reverse stock split, uplist to NASDAQ, and raise $9.4 million, which for Mavvax is quite a bit of money. Uh, and we were all able to do that, uh, you know, at one, essentially one fell swoop, uh, which was great. I think it's a novel differentiated approach that they're taking, and I think that they have a lot of shots on goal. I like it because uh, they're using both the identification uh, mechanism and, and a treatment mechanism, and they're using the human body. So uh, I wish them luck. Okay. All right. Great. Thank you. Thank great. you, Jeff. And right. thank you, David, for joining us today and sharing the story of Mavvax Therapeutics. So yeah. good thank luck you, to Jane. you and thank important you, work that you're doing. So yeah. hopefully it works. And thank you as well for joining us on Small Cap Nation. For more information about small companies doing interesting things, you can go to smallcapnation.com.